You were out at a bar and you were like hanging out and all of a sudden, you know, this actor walked up who was in a movie that you didn't like or you didn't like their performance. You're not going to go up to them and say, dude, your performance sucked. Mm -hmm. There's something to because I've been I've been experiencing something in the last 48, 72 hours uh, with regards to social media. So I wondered if we could have a little talk a bit about social media as a writer sure. and okay. how it helps and how it potentially harms. Mm. All right, great. Well, go for it. So, um, as you know, but I had my first viral tweet. Yeah. What's it up to now? It's up to 8 million views and 20,000 replies. Wow. And right. it was just one of those funny things of do something with the, like, I just, it's just being silly in the moment. And it was uh, yeah. making movie title less intense. I'll go first. Mission possible. Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, retweeted and replied to it. Patricia Cornwell replied to her. It's just all these people that have been like getting involved with them. Like, this is so funny and fun. Um, anyway, um, so social media, I think, can be a a, a, a great boon. Uh -huh. Curse, I think. Um, so I think I've really, and we've really experienced like screenwriter Twitter. Yes. Um, and that's one aspect of Twitter. Um, and what I think is nice about screenwriter Twitter is it can be a very supportive community of people that helps you grow. Mm -hmm. And also the internet is dark and full of assholes. <laughs> and uh, can really be like, it's a very toxic place as well. But hey, ain't that just mankind for you? Right. Humankind, let's be inclusive. Um, so there are benefits, I think, to social media. I think in terms of business stuff, mm. um, I think having a social media presence is can, can be important when you're starting out today. Um, it, it, honestly, obviously, we are. We're, we're doing Thanks. some social media right now. Um, yeah. I think there are there's great benefit because I think it, it, it allows you to engage with people in all aspects of the industry. That could be directors. That could be other writers. It could be managers. I don't know that many agents on Twitter. I don't mm. think as themselves. Mm -hmm. um, there are definitely a few managers on there who have taken a great interest in finding clients from 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 social right. media. There's screenwriter Reddit as well. We're on there from, from time to time. Yeah. So I think there is yeah. benefit in, you know, getting things out there. People start to talk about scripts and share scripts. I think that's sure very positive as well. Um, I think the negatives of Twitter are, or again, let's just say social media. Right. Are, I think you have to be on your best behavior at all times. Mm. Um, and I'm going to extend that and something we've talked about. And I actually vaguely remember them talking about this on script notes as well, which is um, if you see a movie or a TV show and you don't like it, don't talk about it on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's it's tricky, isn't it? Because I know for a fact that before I was a professional screenwriter, I would absolutely do that. Sure. Because bunch of movies. You go and see a movie, you go online. Ah, I hated movie. this. You know, I think you need to not do that. Mm. Not saying you can't have your opinions. Have your opinions. I just would be conscious about sharing them in a very public forum like that yeah yeah was why why ben why might why might you why might you not do that <laughs> yeah. why well i mean i think it's i think it's rather obvious i feel like people you don't know who you're going to meet or who worked on that project or who might also be on that particular social media platform and go fuck this guy or fuck that girl like why really? Like, who's who cares about your opinion? Yeah. I mean, look, there are a lot of people online. I, you know, I have a I have a very kind of 
mixed feeling about all social media. Yes. I, I did not really do anything with Twitter for a very long time. It was only leading up to our release of The Princess that mm -hmm. I decided, okay, I should probably go online and mm -hmm. start to do some self-promotion. Yeah. Um, totally. Yeah. And, you know, some people get a lot out of it and really, really enjoy it. And I think that's yeah. great if you do. Um, and it can be a great way to network yourself. But yeah, there are people on there of significant importance. Yes. There are studio heads on there. There are, yes. are big producers on there. There are big directors on there. Yeah. And, um, this town, and we've said it many, many times, it's a relationship town, and it's yes. the kind of thing where there's no reason to badmouth anyone in in that way. Like, what do you what do you gain from that other than I want people to know my opinion? Like, it's so like yeah. bullshit. Um, no, if there's my problem with social media, period. Yeah. If there's praise for a project, for for a show, for a movie. Totally do that. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, I like, that's like, think of it as in you just went to a screening where the director is there. Are you going to walk up to him and say, I thought your movie was shit? <laughs> no. But if you really enjoyed it, you might go up and be like, dude, yeah. that was awesome. Congratulations. You know, I, think, I think that's a really great way of thinking about it. Like, don't do anything online you wouldn't do in person. Wouldn't do in person. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that would. I think that goes for. I think that would be a lesson that we could all learn. Mm. I well, think I think the good. problem with social media, and it's a much big, broader topic mm. than beyond screenwriting, but is because there is a feeling of being safe and removed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, people feel as though. It's not like you're right in front of that person. Right. So you yeah. can say whatever you want to say. And and mm -hmm. all social graces and all politeness goes completely out the window and tact and everything else that we as people in polite society prefer to mm -hmm. how we like to behave. Mm -hmm. Especially if you want to be friends with people or make Absolutely. a network, a network yeah. of any kind. Yeah. Um, you just wouldn't behave that way. If you were out at a bar and you were like hanging out and all of a sudden, you know, this actor walked up who was in a movie that you didn't like or you didn't like their performance, you're not going to go up to them and say, dude, your performance sucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you'd like to get to know them because you want to like maybe use them in a project one day. Or just the, the potential of... The, yeah, the potential. The potential of, of. I mean, like maybe. Yeah. It's like, you don't know. The thing is, you just don't know where where your paths will cross. This yeah. town is so it's small. so small. <laughs> it's so so. so you know. And even if you even if you don't live in Hollywood, the industry is just small. Oh yeah. I mean, I and, literally just I my my uncle. Um, had me over, he lives in Burbank, and he had me over for uh, an afternoon thing he was doing with his neighbors. And one of his neighbors, in fact, his direct next door neighbor and I were in acting class together 15 years ago. Yeah, totally. She's yeah. in casting now. I'm a writer now. You just, it's yeah. like, it's such a small world and, and small town and small business. Yeah. And you go like, I don't, like, what, what does, what do you have to gain? I like to think about that before spouting off my mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. What, why are you saying this? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, you almost think about it in terms of like, would your, if you were writing a character, like, think, like bring it back to writing. Yeah. Like, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And would you actually say it? If there's nothing that you want from it, it's a really great way of thinking about it, isn't it? It's like, what's my motive? What's my character's what motive? What is your motivation yeah. for saying yeah. these things? Are well, my, you character, my character's just an asshole. Well, 
that's what you're portraying. <laughs> if I was writing a character who went online and talked shit about people all the time, right. that character, I would only be doing that because I wanted to show how much of an asshole that person is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or arrogant or egotistical or whatever. It's like, yeah. You know, and here's a great and here's a great question that's just come in right now. Among the recent Golden Globe noms, who has a bad rep off screen? None of them. They're all wonderful people. Yes, they're all I mean, great. This is there's and this wonderful is people, and I've got nothing bad to say about any of the nom any of the nominations whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, but truth be told, to yeah. to our to our viewer here who asked yeah. the question, yeah, I. I I don't know, nor do I, would I ever share publicly things that I do know. Yes. And so yeah. now if I'm with a friend who I trust and we're sharing war yeah. stories, am I going to talk about shit? Maybe. It's interesting, isn't it? Because sometimes you'll be meeting with a producer mm -hmm. and you'll have that moment of going, does anybody know so-and-so? And everyone's like, no, I don't know them. And you're like, great, I've got an awful story I need to tell you. Oh, yeah. You know, it's that part first. And it's interesting, talking about what we talked about yesterday, like what are red flags? <laughs> that might be a red flag. Yeah, I mean, usually, yeah. look, I'll uh, in meetings with people that I don't know, I usually would keep my mouth shut. And they... We've had experiences where people will tell their own stories and I'm like, I'll go, yeah. okay. Like, yeah. but you know, like, like I'm saying, if you're with one of your, your, you know, your screenwriting buddies and you're like, oh, hey, have you worked with this producer and you want to give them a fair sure. shake, yeah. then I, I think that's cool. Um, I actually think that we mm -hmm. as screenwriters need to stick together oh, because there are people out there that yes. aren't good to work with Completely. or aren't yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, there's a whole big thing right now about the SVU showrunner. I can't remember his name and I won't, I have no personal connection to it whatsoever, but it was a big article either yesterday or the day before about this very prominent screenwriter who's just been recently promoted to being the showrunner at Law & Order SVU, which is the longest running show on television. A big, still has a massive audience, big, huge thing. And all kinds of people started coming out of the woodwork saying how horrible he is to work with. And of course he denies it and I have no experience and so I am not commenting on one oh. side or the other. Yeah, yeah. But what's interesting about that is like, I do feel like it's important, you know, we we have now seen in the last, you know, five yeah. or ten years, um, really horrible people get canceled in this business for good reasons. People who, you know, yeah, call, the Scott call, Rudins and... Called out, for, yes, called out and for bad behavior. Bad behavior. Yeah. And um, so... And I now, think that's this, slightly different. This is different... But you know, like on like, and I don't think that that's a social media thing. But I will oh, say no. that social media can translate into smaller and private groups. Well, it's and interesting. I think private there, groups is be yeah. are are better places for that. There have been examples on social media of um, I feel people like out. you hear it more in TV yeah. of people going. I worked for years on this show and this right. person was an asshole, not just to me, but to other people. And here are, and I need to make this public. Yeah. Sure. Um, and again, I think coming down to what we're talking about as part of this, like, you know, I think we're going to see a real end to toxic showrunners mm. because of yeah. that. Yeah. Of the, of the rightly so the fact that people should, could be able to, call them out and say, hey, but obviously in this world of social media, it's very easy for things to go public and to spread very quickly among yeah. people in Hollywood. And that's, again, in those particular circumstances, these people are going, I don't want to work with this person again. Right. <laughs> you right. Know? Really, it's more about on social media, you know, if you're going to be talking, if you're going to be, his thing, if you're going to be talking smack about someone or really not just talking smack, you know, talking about your negative experiences with someone, there's a real intention behind it. 
you know, the world needs to know that this particular person is toxic and does not serve to be where they are. And they, he needs to have, or she needs to have some yeah. kind of censure, you know? Yeah. That's the intention behind it. Rather than, I fucking hated Prometheus. Right. Because one day you'll be working with Ridley Scott or not. Or not. Or not. Anyway. Yeah. No, that's, it, it, it is an interesting thing. I think it's an interesting just kind of like broader idea. Social media being a place where a lot of people will express opinions. But I do think because this industry is so small and so relationship based that expressing your opinions about people and about the things that people worked on so passionately completely you know, another thing that i think of is when you go into a room and you're meeting with producers yeah you probably should know i mean you should know what what movies they've done recently um but you you really don't want to talk negatively about things that you might that they may have been involved in in some mm -hmm. way. Totally. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't know. You know, there are there are producers yeah. who were studio executives who yeah. on their resume it will not say you know, that they oversaw that movie. That's a really interesting interesting point yeah because you won't necessarily i was watching um the movies that made us mm. uh over over the holiday break and i showed my kids the home alone one and joe roth was instigational in getting home alone made right now we haven't met directly with joe roth but we're working with uh, jeff kirschenbaum his his partner but had we been meeting with joe roth and we'd said oh fucking home alone worst film ever you know, we wouldn't because we wouldn't be able to look on the credits and gone. Joe Roth produced that. Yeah, you know, it's this an example again of going. You know, oh, yeah. And well, and there's lots of examples of I loved it. <laughs> I mean, and and look, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to have an opinion. Of but course. Be and and sometimes people will ask, and that becomes uncomfortable as well. But you know, yes. um, because you don't you want like? to. Uh, you're like, yeah. I don't know, maybe someone in this room. Well, again, like, it's like, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's, if you hated a movie and someone asks who was involved with it, what did you think of the movie? Don't say the thing that you hated. Find one thing that you, that, that you could say. I yeah. really love the cinematography. There was one scene where Black, I enjoyed the performance of so-and-so, you know? Right. I thought it was a great concept. It was really interesting. <laughs> I thought it was really well told. Really well told. <laughs> um, it's really well told. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's also things that I would say um, people genuinely know were bad. And yeah. Un, and and they become and like you know that like if people are talking about a specific disaster dumpster fire of a movie that mm -hmm. no one even the people that made it are going to go yeah that was a fucking failure you know you don't yeah, want to be really. you don't want to be mean about it but like it's okay to acknowledge well, it's, those things. it's interesting isn't it like we're working with a producer who made a couple of very large movies made he's made many large movies and like he talks about one is like yeah it was okay right and the sequel eh. and like right. this guy who like made this thing happen and like he knows it and when they express you can be like well you know i mean in, in those kind of situations i go well i quite i quite liked it i tried to share right. it <laughs> yeah 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 it's it, it is tricky huh because it's like you don't want to there's like this weird thing of going, well, I want them to think that I'm smart. And if they don't <laughs> like it, but I say I really liked it, are they going to judge my opinion of me? Right, totally. Are yeah. they going to think that maybe like, if if that's the kind of movie I like, that that's, somehow I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to write? <laughs> that's really tough, isn't it? Because sometimes you're like, 
oh, you just put down the film that I fucking really love. Yes. And then like, you say, <laughs> do you right. say anything? You're like, well, oh, actually, actually, I really 1986 like... Transformers a work of art. Right. <laughs> I know. It's it really... is. It is a work of art. It's difficult, right? It's like, I mean, I really liked Avatar. I think some people definitely didn't. If I was in a room with a producer and someone was talking about how they didn't like Avatar, yeah, I don't know what I would say. I'd, I'd probably just go, yeah, I've heard a lot of people didn't feel that way. You yeah, know? <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> avoid, avoid the question. Avoid, step away. Uh, Danger, danger. We'll yeah. we obviously diverted from the social media but idea. It but it becomes about being yeah. truthful and about sharing your opinion. Expressing your opinion in the world. So I think too long didn't read. Uh, on social media, if you didn't like a project and you're posting as you, don't go, don't do that. If yeah. you love something, go right ahead. Basically, uh, create an anonymous account. So that if you really feel totally. the need, need to have be that. a dick, yes. do it anonymously. Yeah, yeah. Create a dick account. <laughs> you don't read, create a dick account. I just don't understand the need for people to do that. I, I, I get that there's like, yeah. I, that's a whole other conversation. Uh, it is. need yeah. for like people to, to get a reaction out of people. Like somehow that like, is Some fulfilling. people just emotionally engage with drama and they love to create drama and they love to be involved with it. It kind of satisfies it something. Satisfies. I do. I'm not one of those people. Nor yeah. are you, Ben. Nor no. are you. It's no. One of the reasons I love you. Oh, yeah. Um, 